And so Surah Al-Ikhlas say, He is Allah, one, or He Allah is one. Allah is the one taking care of everything who needs nothing. He did not give birth and He was not given birth to. And no one is equal to Him. He has no equal. Now let's mention that comment about the word Ahad. Ahad is a very special word. Ahadun would have to be translated as a one. Allah is a something. Allah is unique. Allah is a unique being. That's included inside the meaning of the word Ahad. How so? Because the word Ahad, grammatically speaking, in all Arabic language, aside from Surah Al-Ikhlas, can only be used in two ways. The first way that it can be used is with a negation like we have over here. You put a negation at the beginning, either which ones we said were negations. Let's go back and look at them. La. So what I'm saying is that there's two cases of using the word Ahad. One of them is that you, you use the word Ahad after one of these three words. And there's examples of these in the Qur'an for all three of them. There's many of them actually. Um, it would be better to just write Ahadun like we had over here. That's the first case of using the word Ahad. And the second case is that the word Ahad can be used when you're going to say Ahad of something. And you have a word after this. Ahadukum, one of you. Ahadul Muslimin, one of the Muslims. And these are the only two ways of using the word Ahad officially in the Arabic language. In other words, what I'm explaining here is that when Allah says that He is one, He's not using the word Ahad in the regular way that it's supposed to be used. Nowhere else in, nowhere else in the Qur'an and nowhere else in the Arabic language is the word Ahad used the same way as it's used in this ayah. Which makes it even more beautiful because this is the ayah where Allah is talking about how unique He is. Allah is one. He's the only one. He's by Himself. He's completely unique. And in the ayah that says that Allah is unique, He uses a word in a way that is also unique. It's very special. You're not supposed to use the word Ahad this way. But Allah uses it in the unique way. SubhanAllah. And so we'll, we'll conclude here by saying that uh, this surah is the ultimate surah for sincerity. That Allah is the only one and Allah is the only one for me. That Allah is the only one taking care of me. Allah is the only one that I'm going to turn to. And so it gives its name to the surah. This is uh, Surah Al-Fatiha and Surah Al-Ikhlas are the only two surahs in the Qur'an in which the name of the surah is not a word from the surah, which makes it every, very special. Uh, ikhlas means sincerity. It's a very important word because it's the title of the surah, but also because it's going to come again, for example, in Surah al bayyina not too far from here. For the rest of the video now, I'm going to go ahead and explain the words and the translation of the surah. A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajeem Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem Qul Huwa Allahu Ahad Allahu Samad Lam Yalid Wa Lam Yulad Wa Lam Yakul Lahu Kufuwan Ahad We're going to see something that we've already seen in Surah Al-Fatiha, so I'll show you here. In Surah Al-Fatiha, we talked about this, this red uh, B and Li, and we said that Lillahi means to or for Allah. Alhamdulillah, praise and thanks belong to Allah, or praise and thanks are for Allah. So the li means for. This li, which means to or for, can also come with a fatha, and it still means to or for, la. We're going to see that in Surah Al-Ikhlas. And then um, I'm going to make a small rearrangement of the words over here. Uh, this was alayhim. And I'm going to move it to the side over here. Alay. And then blue was the him. Alay him. Um, so that I can write over here, over here. Lahu. So la plus hu. Looks like a very small word, but it's actually two words. We just said a second ago that li or la which is over here, means two or four, whichever word comes in the box. And in the box can be one of those blue words. And you might have figured out by now, all those blue words here are called pronouns. So li or la means two or four, and then hu means him. So lehu means for him or to him. 
And the complete form of the pronoun for he or him is the form hua. That's the complete form. And I'm using a different color. We didn't see the complete form for you and for we or us. Uh, him is actually the complete form. Hum is the complete form for the, the pronoun for they. So we're going to see that in Surat Al-Ikhlas. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Qul means say. So it's an instruction. It's called an imperative in the in the grammar form. Say, Hu Allahu Ahad. He, we just said Hua means he, and then Allah, and then Ahad means one. This is another example where we have a tanween, ahadun, but we don't see a one. We don't say a one. We just say one. We don't say it. We don't put any article on that word. Now I'll discuss the word ahad a little more once we finish the surah because we have the same word coming again at the end. There's something beautiful about the way Allah uses the word ahad. So now we don't have a full sentence yet. We have he, Allah, one. So this is something I need to share with you here using the whiteboard. Uh, we go back to what we discussed last time about a and the and dropping a of in translation. So when I say dropping an of, we're talking about adding a word in English that doesn't appear. It's not the of is not a translation for any word in Arabic. There is no word in Arabic for the word of. We just put of when we see an Arabic word that doesn't have l at the beginning. Or an Arabic and uh, and at the same time doesn't have tanween at the end. A word that has neither el at the beginning nor tanween at the end, we're going to follow it with the word of in English. But there is no Arabic word for of. The same thing goes in many cases with sentences that in English use the word is or are, which is the verb to be. Many times the Arabic sentence doesn't have a word for is. We just put it there because it makes sense. And that's, we're going to leave it at that for now. So here, he, Allah, one, well, we put the word is. And technically, we could actually put the word is at the beginning over here, or we can put it here. It depends where you put the commas, so to speak. Say, he is Allah, comma, one, or say he, comma, Allah, is one. Either one are acceptable. But we're only going to keep one of the two. I'll just keep this one. So that's the first ayah. Say, he is Allah, one. Or he, Allah, is one. Allahu as-samad. Same thing here. Allah is as-samad. And as-samad is one of the names of Allah. Allah is the, all, um, the one who takes care of everything and who needs nothing. The all-sustainer, the one who sustains everything. Uh, some people translate it as <coughs> the uh, ultimate refuge, the supreme refuge. Uh, so that's the meaning of a summit. It doesn't come anywhere else in the Quran. Lam yalid wa lam yulad. Something else that I will show you over here is that in Surah Al Fatiha, we had the word la. We said aladina means the ones who, and la means not. We actually have three words in Arabic we have la, we have lam, and we have len. These are three words for negation. They all mean not. And there's a small difference between them. We'll talk about the difference later on. For now, they just thought they all mean not. They, they're all for negation. Um, we also saw the wa. Uh, wa, I'm just going to mention it. I'm not going to write anything for the word wa. Wa means and. So this is talking about Allah. Say he is one. He is the uh, the one taking care of everything and nobody. He needs no nothing or nobody. Lam yalid wa lam yulad. He did not give birth and he was not the result of birth meaning he wasn't given birth to so translations will say he begets not nor is he begotten so the word yelid uh, means to give birth he did not give birth yulad is the opposite form we call it passive he was not given birth to he did not give birth he's not the father of anybody and he wasn't given birth to, he's not the child of any father. And the word you might want to write here is walad. Walad means a boy, a child. Walam, so he did not give birth, and he wasn't given birth to, or he did not, uh, he wasn't the result of birth. Walam, and he did not, 
But this time, the word lem, we're going to put a bracket, and you're welcome to put that bracket also in your notes. We're going to con connect it with the word ahad. So you put a bracket on both, and then you connect them. Lem connected with ahad. So I mentioned in the past that um, it's important that you only write English notes on the side. Um, the word is and the word of that we put in between the lines, I'm, I'm using them now. Uh, it's okay to write them in English in between because they're not the translation of any specific word. The word translations, when you write the English meaning of an Arabic word, you want to write those on the side so that it helps you in the learning process to connect to the Arabic words more. But those little signs or indications that I put, like the brackets and the lines, these are welcome to come in between the lines. Lem connected with Ahad. We know Lem means not, and Ahad means one. So the two connected together mean no one. This is intuitive. This makes sense. No one. No one what? No one. Now we go back to this lahu. Let me show you again. Lahu, we said, is a combination of this li, the red li, lillahi, to Allah, for Allah, and the huwa up here, which means he. So la, two or four, and then hu, him. Two or four, him, to him, or for him. No one, for him, and then kufu, means, or kufu one, means equal. No one to him equal. No one is equal to him. So the word yakun here is the word for is. So sometimes we need to add it. It's not there in English. I mean, it's not there in Arabic. Sometimes there is a word for is. There's a reason for that. We'll discuss it later, inshallah. So this ayah means literally, and no one is to him equal. No one is equal to him. And so Surah Al-Ikhlas, we'll just review what we just, what we just did. Say, he is Allah, one, or he Allah is one. Allah is the one taking care of everything who needs nothing. He did not give birth and he was not given birth to. And no one is equal to him. He has no equal. 